What's going on guys? John with the Pro Cut back at the bench project that I started uh, last weekend. But uh, we're going to start prepping for assembly and I'm going to show you all how to use a pocket hole jig. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've got my parts laid out. I've got my pocket hole jig. Craig makes a really good one, but this one was cheaper and the pro cuts on a budget. So <clears throat> I've marked my piece. This is the front. So we don't want to drill anything in this side. We've got our drill bit set up in our drill and I'm going to want to put a pocket hole screw at this corner in the center in the center, in the center, and at this corner, because we're gonna have dividers uprights here on this piece of furniture. So this will be nice and solid and we won't need any holes there. So what you do is you set your pocket hole jig where you want your hole drilled. I'm gonna put it all the way to the edge and I'm gonna drill in the inside hole. I'm not gonna drill at the hole at the edge. And you just, Tighten your screw down on the back side of it. And then you drill your hole out. So that's it for the first one. And now you've got your pocket hole drilled. And this will be on the underside of the bench top. And so you'll never see it. Now we're going to go ahead and add our other pocket holes. A lot of people give the pocket hole joint a bunch of shit, but it really is a uh, fast, easy, strong alternative for joints. And uh, quite frankly, I don't know what would be much better than a pocket hole. And then just like the other side, we're going to put one all the way at this end as well. Now, if you ever did have to put a pocket hole on the face of a project, they've got these wooden dowels and you can pound them into the pocket hole after you screw it in and sand it flush and uh, it'll greatly hide the appearance of the pocket hole. And there are special screws to go with the pocket hole jig that you use. And this kit came with some, um, if you've got the Craig, uh, most of the kits come with some, and they're also uh, right next to the Craig jigs. There are extra screws that you can buy. And I hope I'm catching all this. I've got the GoPro set on super view. I believe I'm in screen. And once you've got your pocket holes drilled and your piece sanded down, and you get yourself a little wood glue. In this case, I'm just using Gorilla Glue Clear. And um, I'm using three quarter inch plywood. And so you want to use one inch pocket hole screws uh, because the inch and a quarter ones will be a little bit too long and uh, wind up poking through the other side just a hair and you definitely don't want your furniture looking like that. So the first thing we'll do is put a little glue on the edge. And this stuff is super strong. And we'll get two of our screws ready. Just stick them in the hole. Got our driver with our square tip bit. And go ahead and stand your piece up into place. Get it lined up. Perfect. Ahead and run that screw in. And you can use any wood glue. Uh, tight bonds, another good one, but all I have right now is this grill glue, and so that's that's what I'm using. And uh, like I said, it's good and strong. I've used it in a bunch of projects. But you can see the 
pocket holes just make a they pull that piece in really tight that way the glue can set up and do its job and then the next piece I'm going to put in is going to be the bench top remember the glue is your strength the screws just hold the glue in hold the board in place while the glue is curing and now we've got the main portion of our bench all built there will be trim across the front and down the side and then we've got three drawers to build so stay tuned